Hi, I'm Bradley Harms, a California artist, and I made this frame for chapter two. <laughs> I've been a professional artist for about 25 years. Um, I studied and, and originated in Canada and I'm now living in California. Um, I have studios, studios both here and in Canada and my work is now represented across North America in various galleries. Um, and I have uh, my working collections in museums all over the world. For me, I don't make things that are really attached to the world in a recognizable or physical way. So I'm completely embedded in a sort of personal vision. But when that vision crosses over and, and, and like the outside world uh, is attracted to it or interested in it, that's when the work sort of takes flight. In a, in a meaningful way. I define myself as, as a professional artist because I've been making art for over 25 years, but I've also been an obsessed cyclist for even longer since, since I was a child. For a lot of people and myself included, riding is, is a getaway. So you, you're completely by yourself, in your head, thinking, contemplating, um, decompressing or thinking about things you need to do. Um, and th this is kind of where the art space is very, very similar. It's like, it's, it leads you, but it leads you to a place where your thoughts are your own. And the, the reason why I wanted to do a, a bike frame is completely that. So this body of work that the frame is based on uh, stems from a body of work that I've been doing for about 15 years. Uh, it's an example of a series of lines over single bands of color beside one another. They look very, very technically perfect and proficient, but I, I've painted all of these lines by hand, one by one. So if you actually get up to the frame or get up to the paintings, um, each line has a delicate waver, has, has some imperfection in it. And I think the point of the paintings was to strive to be perfect but always fall short. I wanted to create the frame so that it has an abundance of like intimate, small surprises for the rider because I think like an artwork, it shouldn't be too in your face. And as you spend more time with it, it reveals itself a little more slowly to you. The top tube, for instance, um, is an artwork when viewed while you're riding. The inside of the fork is something that is just a flash of color, unless you actually want to explore it. And again, with the logos for chapter two and the C2 on the frame, those are all filled with my hand-done line work. The way that I look at it is that Mike has created a wonderful and highly technical sculpture for me to realize a painterly vision onto. And I think together we have created an incredibly artful object. <laughs>